Shalom, shalom, shalom. My name is Michael Sano and welcome to the 12 Cities in Israel travel vlog. For this episode, we're going to be talking about studying abroad in Israel. Now, there are a lot of programs for studying abroad in Israel. Um, there's one at Haifa University, Tel Aviv University, there's one at Hebrew University in Jerusalem. But for the purposes of this episode, we're going to be talking about Ben Gurion University of the Negev in southern Israel in Beersheba. Um, now, I've been doing some research, and the next episode that we have, I'll be talking about. I'll be talking about the programs um, in those other cities at those other universities. But for the purposes of this discussion today, we're going to be talking about Ben Gurion University. Now, why? Because I've been there twice. Okay, before we get into all that, why are we doing this? Because we want you to go to Israel. So, in order to make your trip more successful, easier, and to have a lot more fun, subscribe to our YouTube channel, share it with your friends and family, and become a part of our community. We'll be bringing you brand new content every week um, so that we can make your trip to Israel the best that it can be. So, the information that I'm going to be giving you today is from my trip, um, to Beersheba, to Ben Gurion University. Um, I, at my school, City College in New York, go Beavers. Um, <laughs> we, uh, I'm a Jewish studies major, and part of that, part of part of the program is a component in modern Hebrew. Long story short, I fell in love with the language um, and wanted to experience it firsthand. So I went down to the study abroad office at the City College of New York, what's up Nineveh, um, and was very happy to find out that we, uh, the City College of New York in CUNY had a, uh, City University of New York, has a program um, with Ben Gurion University of the Negev, sort of like an exchange program, um, but what Basically what it is, is is all you have to pay is your regular tuition if you wanted to go for a semester or a year abroad. I didn't want to do that. Um, I have a lot of obligations here at home. So I went on a four week Ulpan. Um, Ulpan is an intensive Hebrew program. And what it does is you basically study in a classroom environment um, for the entire morning and then you're cut loose around 12:30, and that's your immersion component of the Ulpan program um, it's really kind of neat and and Bear Sheva was the major defining factor of what made that Ulpan so successful because in Bear Sheva 50% of the population speaks English uh, so if you, what I mean by that is if you go to Tel Aviv or if you go to Jerusalem and you start speaking by Vrit in Hebrew, yay, um, and you're not very good at it, what will happen is within the first slaughtered sentence, you will, they'll, they will switch to English um, and your speaking in Hebrew experience is over immediately. That's it. They're done speaking to you in Hebrew. They won't, they won't brook it. So um, what happened with me was kind of unique because I went down to the Makolet um, or Makolet. Somebody, somebody hit me in the discussion and correct me, okay? Um, I went to the Makolet or the corner store and the guy found out, the gentleman behind the register found out that I was studying Hebrew at this at um, Ben Gurion University. So from that point on, he would only speak to me by Vrit in Hebrew, and uh, it it helped me a lot. Thank you so much. So that story is just one example of the immersion that you'll experience if you go to Ben Gurion University um, in a study abroad program, and that was only one of the programs. So. Like I said, I was in the four-week Ulpan intensive Hebrew program. They also have a six-week intensive Hebrew program. Um, they have a semester-long program. 
they have a year-long program and all these are designed around um, the needs of undergraduate students and the cool thing is um, it's not going to be as much of a culture shock as one would think so they the OSP offers um, they offer a ton a ton of classes all English language classes um, in anthropology Jewish studies Israel studies women's studies global health a ton of stuff. All this can be found um, on the website under academic programs and I'll put the link in the bottom and you can check it out. But um, the cool thing is if you do these semester or year-long programs um, you're automatically enrolled in the six-week Ulpan. Uh, that's a requirement of the court. Like my for my Jewish studies program at City College modern Hebrew was a requirement for the courts. You, you you know for the for the uh, for the program so you had to have it um, a similar thing at, at BGU is that you if you are there for a semester or a year Upan's part of the course it's it's a, it's a requirement so it's really good and it it creates this experience this academic experience that you'll never have um, anywhere else so on the website, you'll be able to find all the information to apply for all these programs. There are also other programs um, that Ben Gurion and the OSP offers as well. The OSP offers research internships um, that I'll, I'll leave the information on the website and you can check into that. Um, there are also other research internships that are directly through Ben Gurion University. Um, they have different research goals and 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 uh programs so they have a ton of stuff ben Gurion university has their fingers in nanotechnology computer science um biotechnology all kinds of stuff so um i'll put the information for that on there as well plus on top of that ben Gurion university has a four-year medical school that is entirely in english so if you wanted to come over to Israel to get your MD, um, it's Israel, why wouldn't you? Um, you could do that. And I'll put information for the School for International Health, um, their four-year English-speaking medical school, uh, in the notes at the bottom. Um, yeah, in Israel. Awesome. How great would that be? Um, I almost want to be a doctor now. Uh, so yeah, I'll put all that information in the bottom for you and all those programs, um, are really easy to find out about. Plus there's an office in New York city, uh, the American association of Ben Gurion university. I could have that wrong. And if I do, it'll be flashing underneath my fat head. So, um, yeah, you can give them a call. They're they're really responsive and they're really good at, at, at making sure you have all the information you need to apply for the programs that you're interested in. So the reason why I am going on and on about Ben Gurion University of the Negev is because I had a wonderful time. It was probably two of the best experiences of my life. Um, I got to meet some wonderful people, Neely, Nitsan, Laila, Enoy, uh, Dana, Yael, uh, Jonathan, all of you in the OSP office. Thank you so much. Um, I got to be taught Ivrit by two of the most amazing Morot, um, you could ever have. Michal Vehadas. Todorba. Todorba. Um... I got the opportunity to meet my best friend in the whole world. <laughs> and through him to become a part of Beersheba, I got to work with Malka Reisner from the city of Beersheba. I love you. Thank you for all your help. Um, and I got to spend an amazing Shabbat with um, Asher and Hannah Blackman. 
Uh, and that's an experience I can never repay them for. It was just beautiful. Um, my whole point is my time at Ben Gurion University of the Negev was magical. And if you go, it can be magical for you as well. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, this was our episode on study abroad in Israel, but it's only the first episode. It's about my experience at Ben Gurion University of the Negev. And we'll have all the information if you're interested in the program um, down at the bottom um, underneath the video. So check it out. We'll put all the links there for you. And don't forget, don't forget, this is just one part of our discussion on studying abroad in Israel. I've done a bunch of research, like I said, and I've been reaching out to a bunch of people. And our next episode is going to be on different programs um, throughout Israel. Okay, so thank you so much for joining us for this episode of the 12 Cities in Israel Travel Vlog. Before you leave, visit our YouTube channel, subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, become a part of the 12 Cities in Israel community. Um, we're going to be bringing brand new content to you every week because bottom line, we want you to go to Israel. So we're going to give you the best information um, for you to have the best time. Um, also, if you like this video, please share it with your friends and family. The more views and the more subscribers, the better it is for us. Um, visit our website, www.12citiesinisrael.com. Through there, you'll find links to our Facebook and our Instagram. Check out our Facebook page. Um, friend us, like us, all that stuff. Also, Instagram, I gotta give a big shout out to Miriam Strauss, one of our producers. Um, she's the one who got me linked up and productive on Instagram. So, thank you so much, Miriam. Um, I'm posting something brand new every day. I've got tons of pictures from all of our trips. Um, check it out, follow us. Um, and finally, um, if you want to help us go back to Israel to make more of our full-length episodes, um, we're trying to raise $50,000, and you can do that through our website. Check out the, uh, the PayPal button, click on it, and help us in any way you can. Um, יושב לבד שם בקפה, כותב עליי שיר יפה, מסתכל באנשים שמסביב, רוב שנועצת בי מבט, ושוב הלב שלה נצבט, היא נעלמת לה מהר כמו מהר. איך שהיא, איך שהיא נעלמה לי, איך שהיא, איך שהיא כבר ברחה.